Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about this unusual star system known as 49 Seti, located about 190 years away from us in the constellation Cetus. And this star created another mystery we can't really explain. So let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So first of all, what exactly is this star? Well, about 40 million years ago, a completely new star was made in this cluster right here, known as IC2391, or also known as Omicron Velorum Cluster. But even though other stars that were created in this cluster seem to be relatively normal and appear as we expect them to appear, there is something really peculiar about 49 Ceti. Specifically, it seems to have a lot of gas in the actual star system that should have been gone from there a long time ago. Now, to try to understand what's going on here, we need to take a look at this illustration created by the National Science Foundation that kind of gives us the idea of what happens with stars when they just form. So basically, after a typical supernova or any other event that creates a large cloud of matter, eventually this cloud starts to coalesce into a larger piece and then ends up creating the new star system. This eventually, within a few million years, leads to a typical star system with planets in it, but this here is what we are interested in. This gas disk, also known as the protoplanetary disk, is something we're quite familiar with because we've seen so many out there in our own galaxy. And we usually expect all of this to disappear within a few million years as the star acquires its um, star status and starts emitting so much radiation that it pushes all of this gas out of the star system. While at the same time, prior to this, a lot of planets will develop and will create actual bodies of matter that will then turn into either terrestrial planets or gas planets. So essentially, this is the process by which we think all of the star systems are created. Yet, 49 Ceti doesn't seem to meet this criteria. It seems to be doing its own thing and very different from what we expect it to be doing. So first of all, this beautiful star that's about 186 light years away from us is an A-type star. It's an extremely bright star, it has a lot of energy, it's about 9000 degrees Kelvin in temperature, it's also about 20 times brighter than our own sun, and spins really fast. The velocity on the equator here is about 200 kilometers per second. This high speed of rotation may even turn the star slightly more um, squished as opposed to being a sphere, so we don't really exactly know what this causes, but it might have some effect on the star system. But when the scientists behind the paper that you can find in the description below looked at this star system in more detail and by using various other frequencies, they've discovered that this star system even though it's about 40 million years old, still possesses exactly the same parameters as a typically newly created star system. It has a lot of gas still in orbit around the star that hasn't really been dissipated or turned into planetary objects. And although technically maybe planets are hiding inside this gas when we're just not seeing them, the amount of gas that is still present in the star system is really astonishing. It's sort of beyond any theoretical prediction and um, seems to have no current explanation, so we don't really know why it has so much gas left. Now normally by this time in the formation of the star, basically 40 million years later, we really expect it to look more like this. It should already have almost no gas in it, it should have a lot of planets orbiting, and especially a star like 49 Ceti, which is a very powerful A-type star with a lot of emissions. As a matter of fact, if we were to look at the procedurally generated star system 49 Ceti in Space Engine, which uses the current physics and current understanding of the universe, this is kind of what it looks like. You'll notice it has several planets, some of them are a little bit too close to the star, the star is very bright and very powerful, and interestingly, there's even an unusual Neptune-like planet that orbits on its side and, according to Space Engine, possesses very simple single cellular life. Now, all of this is procedurally generated, so it probably doesn't exist in real life, but nevertheless, this is what we expect to see here after about 40 million years. We expect a multi-planetary system with a lot of development and possibly a lot of planets with moons as well. But, once again, not exactly what we just saw. Instead, the observations revealed a huge amount of various gas. Carbon gas, carbon monoxide, even hydrogen, and overall, just a lot of dust. 
it still has a lot of material that's orbiting around the star, and all of this was seen in various different frequencies. And even though we've seen other uh, planetary disks that do still possess some gas, and technically even our own solar system still has the asteroid belt and the Kuiper's belt that do possess certain particles left that could technically be seen in a similar way that as we see here. Nevertheless, what we're seeing in 49 Ceti is about 10 times or even more so compared to every other star system we've seen so far. And what's even more unusual is that for the first time ever, we've actually seen the emissions from the so-called carbon-13, a much more rare isotope of typical carbon. We've actually never seen this in space ever. We know it exists, but there needs to be a huge amount of it for us to be able to detect it. So here, this was the first ever detection of carbon-13 uh, emissions that are around 492 gigahertz. Once again implying that there is a lot of carbon gas that's still left in this star system. Now there's really no definitive explanation to why this is so. I guess one explanation is that for some reason the system seems to be developing much much slower than other star systems and is able to maintain the um, gas field and all of the carbon and hydrogen around it much longer than usual. But physically or theoretically, we don't really know how to explain it. One of the possible explanations is that all of this is caused by a lot of different collisions, specifically from things like comets. Cometary collisions could definitely generate signatures of carbon and a lot of other materials we're seeing, but there would need to be a tremendous amount of comets colliding pretty much constantly for millions of years for so much gas to be generated. Theoretically, we don't think it's actually possible. The other solution to this is that maybe instead of comets, there were actually quite a lot of various planetary collisions. Large planets colliding could produce the gas we're observing, but theoretically we don't actually think so many collisions can occur, and also normally planetary collisions should also be producing a lot of other effects, such as various infrared effects that should have been seen in the study. But we haven't really seen any signs of planetary collisions in this study, and there have been no other effects observed to suggest that this was a planetary collision of any kind. And so here we're back to not knowing what exactly is causing all of this gas to stay around the star system, and why none of it has dissipated over time. So, in that sense, it really creates this mystery that we can't currently explain. Which of course creates a major blunder for our theory of planetary formation. There might be a step missing here, that we haven't really considered, and maybe 49 Ceti will actually explain to us what exactly is it that we don't really understand yet. Until we discover more what's going on here, and until we find out what is causing all of this in 49 Ceti, that's really it. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also, possibly consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it does help me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow! Space out, and as always, bye-bye.